Yo, what's up guys? A new trailer has dropped for Pokemon Sun and Moon and I think we're gonna we're gonna watch it and talk about what we see and uh, some cool stuff like that. So I'll just be pausing it every once in a while and uh, I want this to kind of be a discussion. So if you see anything that I didn't notice, go ahead and leave it in the comments below. But let's get this started. Yo, that's some nice artwork though for the background. Holy crap. Uh, so I saw this earlier and I was watching. I didn't really get a good look because I was on my phone. But, oh my god, Executor is freaking Dragon-type now. That's ridiculous. That's so cool. Oh, yo, 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 yo. Okay. Let me just pause it uh, right here. Holy crap. Ninetales is Ice Fairy. Now, I don't know if the Alo Alola forms are going to be like... Uh, I, I don't know if they're going to apply to every single Ninetales of Vulpix. What I'm thinking, and you guys can spitball with me, uh, what I'm thinking is when you catch a Vulpix in the Alola region, it's going to be a Vulpix or a Ninetales uh, with Ice-type or Ice Fairy. I, Yeah, yeah. I guess what I'm saying is if you catch a Pokemon in the Alola region, I'm assuming it's going to be Ice... Uh, ice type rather than fire, but that could be for only some parts because while watching the trailer, it'll actually show in a second here. Notice the icy background in the back. So I'm assuming there's one area with like ice Pokemon and uh, Vulpix and Ninetales specifically there are gonna be uh, ice type and stuff like that. That's what I'm assuming. I don't I don't know. It could be every Pokemon, but yeah, I'm pretty sure they're not taking the other Pokemon out. You know. Or it could be like a stone you give them. I don't really know, but either way, I love it. Nine Tails is like my new favorite. And uh, yo, we got Sand Slash and Sand Shrew. Look at this Sand Shrew right here. Look at him. It's so cute. I love it. And uh, I don't know if you guys noticed, but again, you can kind of see the background how it's ice in there. So I, I'm I'm really assuming that they're going to just have them in one specific region uh, or area in the game. And also I don't know if you noticed, Sand Slash is like or Sand Shrew is like a little uh, igloo. It's so cute. I freaking love it. Like I'm so glad they brought Sand Slash back and did something with him because no offense, he just seemed kind of boring. Like he just got forgotten. But we remember. Yeah, we remember. All right, more new Pokemon discovered. Oh, heck yeah. I wonder how many they're going to release. Um, so here we've got, let's see, or I don't even know how to say that. Oricorios, whatever. Um, this guy actually looks pretty cool. I don't know, they're just, uh, I guess he has different forms. I don't even know how this is going to work. But those types are going to be good. Let's see, it'll show them in a second. Yeah. So, four new forms, um, I don't know how this is gonna work, to be honest, this Pokemon kinda reminds me of Chaytot, but it seems like it's got some good typing, so who knows, man, I mean, the fire flying's kind of irrelevant, but that ghost flying, though, yeah, see, and then electric flying, that's pretty cool, I don't know how it's gonna work, maybe you could just catch different ones in different areas, I, that's probably gonna be it, and I, actually, you know what, I got a little theory, let's go back here, let's go back here, so Tapu Koko, right, that's, a uh, that's electric type, correct? Maybe, like, you find these, like, I don't know how many islands there are. If there's four islands, maybe there's more. But maybe you find these on islands where, like, uh, the guardians are like, okay, hear me out. Tapu Koko is electric. I bet you find that electric one on the same island as Tapu Koko. And uh, same for whatever guardians are going to reveal. That, I could be wrong. I could be right. You never know. Just a cool little theory. But, uh, yeah, I, I like it so far, though. I mean, that's pretty unique. They haven't gotten a Pokemon like that, so... And it's pretty cool, especially for battling. If you're gonna be Wi-Fi battling, like, you never know what it's gonna be. Yo, what is Dancer? Oh, that's so cool! So when they raise a type, it raises yours? Oh, whoa, well, alright. New Pokemon here. Um, I didn't actually see this one. Minor. Minor? My Minor? I don't really know. It looks like a meteor. It actually is pretty cool with rock flying. I don't know about that typing though. It looks more like psychic or steel or anything really. Oh man, it's gonna get destroyed by ice type. Oh, whoa, okay. Shield down, what does that do? That's pretty cool. And there's four different colors. I wonder if those are for like different moves or uh, different weather effects. I don't know, it kind of reminds me of Luma's. That's pretty cool. I don't know what you guys think about that. I, I kind of like it. If you like it, let me know in the comments down below. And yo, we got Donald Trump, dude. Literally Donald Trump. Look, he puts his hands behind his back and everything. Like, that is Donald Trump. I don't care what you tell me. 
That is the Trump man. And uh, I think this one's a brand new Pokemon. Fu Mantis. This thing looks sick, yo. I, I just have to get a look at that. Leaf Guard for the ability, just a pure grass type. I'll probably pick this up, honestly, in my Let's Play. Um, yeah, this thing looks amazing. And by the way, I am doing a Let's Play of this, so I'm pretty excited for that. But uh, yeah, let's continue on. Man, I love the way it looks. It seems like it should have another type, though. It feels like, I don't know, it should be um, maybe Fairy or something or Bug, but it looks freaking amazing. I love it. Look, it's got little wings on its back, too. Whoa! Solar Blade! Oh, yo, I didn't even see that! Holy crap. And Mudbray. Um... It looks like Pinocchio. It looks like Pinocchio from, like, uh... From the actual movies. Yeah. Oh, whoa, okay. So, that's a Tauros, but I see a picture of... Uh, that ground type horse. That's kind of weird. So I'm assuming you can ride multiple ones. It says, uh, call on the services, ride a Pokemon. I wonder if you could just do that anywhere. Oh, check it out. Sharpedo. Yo! I can ride on my Charizard. Heck yeah. I wonder if I can Mega Evolve it while I ride it. Man, that's so cool. All right. Uh, the Island Challenge. See, I don't understand this. Is this like replacing gyms? Because I don't understand, it's like the island challenge, your rite of passage. You'll travel to each of the four islands here in the... Yeah, it is four islands. So I bet those four Pokemon are in different items, or islands, the the bird Pokemon. And I bet it's based off of the totem uh, Pokemon. I, I bet it is. I bet it is. Alright, let's see what he says. Uh, the island challenge is about aiming to be the strongest trainer. Uh, okay, the island champion. The strongest trainer is the island champion. All right. So, whoa, that looks really pretty. So, I don't think they're doing gyms anymore. Yeah, see, these are trial champions. I'm assuming you fight these people to, uh, to go to the next island or something. I don't know how this works, but it's really cool. I like it a lot so far. Like, I like the fact that they're breaking the norm. Uh, they're stepping outside of what they normally do, and they're going into something completely different. Uh, but let's just play this again. All right, look at the vigorous splashing Lana, water type. That's kind of cool. Uh, electric type, hmm. Oh, this guy right here, holy crap, he looks awesome. Yeah, so I think you fight these guys? Or maybe, I don't know. I don't understand, but yo, this looks cool. Powerful totem Pokemon of weight. So these are like boss battles. I don't understand if you can catch them though. But this is really cool because I'm just going to pause this uh, in a second. But yeah, this is really cool because this is something that I don't know if you guys played Yokai Watch. They did. They had really cool boss battles and stuff. So if they have stuff like that in Pokemon, I'm going to be so excited. Like, I love the Pokemon. I love everything that they're doing. And uh, Totem looks, they, they look really cool. The Totem Pokemon or whatever. It looks like it's going to be tough, though, if they can call on a bunch of other Pokemon. Yeah, battle the kahunas. See, I can't tell if, like, the trial is, like, the first gym and then the kahuna is, like, the second gym. So, if you take the kahunas and the trial, guys, then that is actually eight. So, I don't I don't know how this is going to work, but that looks pretty cool. It looks like your professor, whoever this guy is who is hanging out with the professor, uh, is one of the kahunas. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Yo, this looks cool, too. I think it's a Z attack, it like powers up your move. Yeah, Z power. Let's see, uh... Gigavolt Havoc. Holy crap! Oh, once per battle? Yo, it is literally... It is literally Yokai Watch's Sultimate. Like, it's an ultimate move. That is so cool, I love that. I love that so much. You can use it once per battle, like that's gonna make battling so different. I'm so excited to see the competitive scene, but we're almost done with this video, so let's... Let's, uh, let's watch it. Oh, yeah, in other news, you can hit Sandshrew now because it's Ice-type. So that's pretty cool. Yo, Bloom Doom. Oh, that's so sick. Oh, wow, you could use it at level 15? There we go, Inferno Overdrive, my boy. Holy crap. Hmm. I wonder why Pikachu got one. I wonder if all Pokemon get him. I don't know, that's kind of weird, but uh, yeah, so that's really cool. I, this game looks amazing. I don't know what game you guys are gonna be picking up. 
Uh, personally, I'm probably going to pick up both, but I prefer Sun. I just like Soul Galio so much more. So what do you guys think of my theories and my thoughts? Uh, do you guys agree with what I said about the four islands and stuff like that? It's a discussion, so I really want you guys to comment down below. Uh, we'll talk about it. Don't forget to hit that like button, though, because I am so hyped for Pokemon Sun and Moon. And if you're hyped too, man... We gotta give this thing a rating. We gotta, we gotta get this out there. We gotta show everybody this game because it looks fabulous. It looks amazing. Um, and also, just a last bit of news. Um, I am going to be uh, doing a series of Pokemon Sun and Moon uh, some way or another. I've actually lost my capture card. I don't have it anymore. Um, so I'm gonna start up like a Twitch fund or a Patreon fund. But I have a Patreon down below. There's really cool benefits for donating to, donating to the channel. And uh, if you guys would do that, or if you guys would check out the Patreon, or just hang out in the Twitch chats, like, that would mean so much to me. So thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to hit that like button yet again. I will see you all next time.